The functions we are testing are called airport safety nets in cooperation with the routing function and data link messages and the automated switching of taxiway lights, which is the concept known as follow the greens. We decided to use vehicles instead of uh, real aircraft. Um, during the day there are certain periods of the day where aircraft aren't coming in or moving uh, on the manoeuvring area. So a vehicle would be perfect because we could ask the vehicle to stop or turn around or start again, where doing this with an aircraft would be difficult. So we equipped one vehicle to be an aircraft using a real transponder in it and uh, we could simulate it as an arrival or a departure. The other vehicle would act as a vehicle so we could simulate towing movements or just vehicle movements, for example crossing the runway. So the vehicles were very flexible in that respect and it was a very good first step towards a, a proper live trial using aircraft. This is indeed uh, an important uh, validation um, in, in CESAR, in the uh, airport area on, uh, on uh, surface management and uh, airport safety nets in particular because it's uh, uh, the conclusion of uh, years of uh, research and uh, development. It's the only uh, shadow mode and uh, live trial exercise in the program. It covers uh, different solutions, different functions. Uh, it was a challenge uh, for the technical and the operational teams to manage to uh, plan and uh, integrate all the technical systems in a live environment. Um, so for all these reasons, uh, this is uh, really uh, an important step towards the delivery of uh, CESAR solutions. But the essence of the program is to uh, involve all the stakeholders uh, concerned and uh, have them working together to uh, develop concepts, uh, develop uh, technologies and, and validate them. We should uh, push to have these uh, kind of uh, validations uh, in the future, in CESAR 2020 in particular, because it is the closest to, uh, to reality. For us, it's a good chance to see that this concept is really works. When we applied for the project, we didn't realize how complex it is. It's uh, three or four different teams of people who should work together, who should coordinate their work quite meticulously. We have five persons, five operational persons during the validation process. It was very good to them to see the differences between two different systems, just to understand that approach could be different, uh, HMI could be different, features could be different as well. We plan to implement some extra functions anyway, so in that case, it could be like step step approach, and the first one we maybe will be just uh, pure follow the green. I would like to say thank you to all of you. <laughs>